So this week my quick uh, topic here is about being an example. And by example, I mean there's lots of things that can go into this. But, um, you know, being an example is important as far as just your personal character. And um, you know, we need to remember, and I don't mean this in a creepy way, that someone is always watching you and watching us. And again, not creepy, but in how you, um, how you are as a person, as a professional, doing your job. You know, I got the picture here in the bottom left of the, uh, the guy with the cell phone at work. Uh, you know, things like that people notice as a boss, uh, and some of you may or may not be in these positions or have been or will be, uh, those are things you notice of employees or of people who work for you or with you because uh, it demonstrates their character as to, you know, are they, you know, a moral character, uh, you know, they're supposed to be working but they're on their phone, you know, it's just a thing you would notice. Um, and so, you know, the point is, you know, someone's watching you because, uh, you know, it's not just about watching you, but it's, um, you know, are you an example for others? Uh, do people look at you in a positive way? You know, are you the role model for others? You know, a lot of people aspire to be like somebody else or they look up to people because they are a positive role model. You know, they, you know they're, very, they're ethical, moral, you know, good work standards, uh, you know, things like that. And, uh, you know, so that's part of, you know, being who you are. Uh, you don't, you know, some people aspire to be like, you know, Dick or Jane, uh, but others do not because it's like, oh, I don't want to be like that person. You know, there may be a boss uh, you've had experience with is like, that is not the type of boss I want to be. Uh, so that's, you know, when I'm talking about being an example, being a role model, you know, being a leader. You may not be in a leadership position per se, but you are the person that people come to. Again, because of how they perceive you, how they see you do your work, how you, how proficient you are in your work. Because you know you you, you learn the job, uh, whether it's uh, you know some sort of uh, um, technical skill out there, or hey, you're going to have this MBA and you know you know your stuff. Uh, you know, these are different things people, you know, look at. And, you know, of course, being proud of what you do. You know, um, you know, I talked last week about being happy and the work you do. You should be proud of the work you do because you're happy doing it. You like doing it. Uh, you know, don't be the person with the negative attitude. Uh, you know, don't be that gloom and doom drama person. Um, you know, and we all probably know someone who's a drama person who just has to be surrounded with negativity and drama. And, uh, you know, and, and I apologize if one of you watching this is that person. Uh, if you are, you need to figure out how to get out of it. Uh, you know, get away from the sky is falling attitude and, you know, be, be positive. Be a positive influence on others. All right. You know, be the example, the role model, the leader, and, you know, be proud of your accomplishment. You know, someone, you know, looks up to you wants to do like you do and you know come to you for help advice and so forth